I give a big thanks to them for you know being able to come in here in the off season, just being here with me and be able, you know, to work out with them guys to to be able to, to see where I'm at to going against the, you know uh, competition. But you know, it just shows you this team and how much we care about each other, and how much we believe in each other, and uh, uh, just makes me want to play even harder. So. Mm-hmm. Markel, talk about helping this ball club. You come in at number one pick, 2017, and you want to help this team get to the next level. Yeah, 100%. The uh, only thing I'm really worried about is, like you said, helping this team. Just going out there and giving it my all um, on the defensive end, on the offensive end. Uh, just doing what I need to do to help us win. Uh, if that's diving on the floor, if that's playing defense, if that's being on the bench, clapping it up for my teammates, keeping them encouraged, uh, I'm going to do whatever it takes. So. When did you feel confident here? Fans want to know. Oh yeah, I feel really good. Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm I'm well for a training camp, and I'm just taking it day by day. I don't really look too far ahead. I'm looking uh, uh, I'm looking forward for the season, but like I said, I take it each day. Right now, I'm I'm focused on me today, so I'm feeling good. How much do you look forward to tomorrow? Man, I'm excited. Uh, it's the first step uh, to, towards the season. Um, just being able to go out there and just get a good sweat in, compete, uh, learn some more plays, learn the defensive schemes, and and get ready for, for the season. So, now, When was the last time you considered yourself fully healthy? Um, it's been, going into the yeah, the it's, first it, it's been a while. Uh, it's been a while, you know. Um, I really haven't been like this since, you know, I've been drafted, really. So mm-hmm. uh, I've overcome a lot. I've, I've worked really hard, um, and I'm excited. So, Do you see yourself as you can kind of be an X factor that can help this team take another step? Uh, I definitely think so, but I also think it's going to take a team effort. It's not just going to be... Uh, one little thing like myself or, um, you know, a, a, a addition to the team. I think it's going to be um, everybody from last year coming back, um, everybody who's been added on, just working as hard as we can during this training camp, listening to the coach, and um, just executing. Mark Hill, are you expecting to play in the preseason opener against the Spurs? Um, yeah, that's my goal. Uh, like I said, I'm just taking it day by day. Right now, I'm just looking forward to training camp and um, just competing in there. Uh, so. How much did being around the team during that playoff run Um, I think a lot. Uh, one, just always being in that playoffs atmosphere. Uh, everybody wants to be there, be able to learn, see the physicality. Um, so uh, it definitely helped me a lot. Just learning my teammates' game, uh, learning how we're going to fight in uh, tough times, and just being able to be there for them while I'm on the bench, just boosting them up, uh, keeping their head up, and just telling them stuff I see them on the court that maybe they, they won't see. So Having a couple of veterans at the point guard spot, how much does that help you take the pressure off that you're not, you know, they're not all the weights on your shoulders? You mm-hmm. got DJ and, and Michael Carter-Williams. Uh, yeah, I think it helps a lot. Uh, those are two great point guards uh, along with the rest of the team. We got great bigs, uh, veteran bigs. But um, as far as pressure, I really never feel pressure when I'm on the court. I just go out there, have fun, and play my game. So. Mm-hmm. How much are you looking forward to just playing basketball again? Man, all that's the, the other stuff. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. I think a, a lot of people are caught up into all the how is this shot going to be, how is this whatever. But the biggest thing for me is just I'm able to go out there and compete and have fun playing the game. And that's all I'm worried about. If I go out there and do that, everything else will take care of itself. So. How hard was it not playing for a couple of years? It's the toughest thing, just like anything you love. I think anything, if you ask anybody what's the thing they love the most and ask them what, how does it feel to be taken away from you, um, it, it's tough. Uh, I just wanted to go out there. If I had no arms, I would still want to play basketball. I mean, it's just something about having something that you love being taken away from you that's that's different. So now that I got it back, I, I don't take anything for granted, and I'm just I'm glad to be out there. Besides the game, what other value do you bring to the Orlando Magic? Uh, I think I bring defensive presence, uh, rebounding, uh, almost everything. I try to uh, bring a little bit of – Everything. I'm gonna be that guy that's gonna dive on the floor for a loose ball. I'm gonna be that guy that's gonna talk on defense. I'm gonna be that guy that's gonna help a team out, t- help a teammate up when he falls. So I just want to be here for for my team and, and this organization. Cliff said he's recruited DC through the years. I know he's told yeah, you this. Yeah, yeah. He says you're a DC point guard. What, yeah. what does he mean by that? Uh, I, I think the DMV area DC point guard just have a different grit. You know, um, you grow up playing outside. You growing up, you have to earn everything you get, and that's that's one thing I had to do all my life. It just work for everything that I got. So. Mm-hmm. Michael Carter Williams began his career in Philly, top uh, lottery pick. Yeah. Do you and he talk about what the expectations were like for both of you? There? Uh, not really. We don't really talk too much about uh, the past. We do talk about Philly, just how great the city was. We give our thanks for them and everything they've done for us and the opportunity you know, to be in the league. Uh, we wouldn't be here without them. But uh, like I said, we try to stay in the now and just live every day worrying about that because you never know when it might slip away from you. So. 
Uh, it's, it's great. It's one of the best atmospheres I've ever been in. Uh, I really feel like I'm at home. Um, every time I come in here, I love coming in here to work just because I feel like it's really family here. You know, everybody just has fun. Uh, we work hard. And that's the best thing about it. Magic extended you and Mo and J.I. on the same day. Do you think about that trio? You, know, you guys are all young, how you yeah. grow, grow together? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, this team is really young. We got a lot of young pieces, but um, I think about it every day. I mean, I played with both of those guys in USA in a little bit when I was in high school and college. So um, I kind of knew them for a little bit, but it just shows the potential that we have to, to, to go over. So. Mm -hmm. Around this team, around this team all, all off season. Is there a sense that uh, what this team wants to accomplish with this team? 100%. I think we all we all got a lot of hunger and fire built up under us. Um, I think we're kind of looking at it like we're underdogs and we just want to work as hard as we can. And I think, like I said plenty of times, if we just work as hard as we can and take it day by day, I think we'll be perfectly fine. So. What was your experience like uh, working at the um, it was a dope experience. You know, you see a lot of pros come through there. I got a chance to meet Kobe, um, but their facility is great. They have almost everything you need as far as recovery, um, courts, sand, um, everything. So it was a, it was a dope experience. Marco, you mentioned your defense earlier. Yourself and Wes and J.I. How good can this team be defensively? Man, it can be unbelievable. I think our length is a big thing. Uh, I think all of us have long wingspans. Um, we're all young and we all work hard. I think defense is mostly about effort. So I think the biggest thing for us is just following our defensive schemes and playing as hard as we can. And I think we'll be just fine. The team extending your contract when they did, does that give you a lot of, feel like they have a lot of confidence in you and take that off your mind going into um, the start of the Yeah, season? I mean, it wasn't really on my mind, but I think it just shows you the trust that they have in me and the relationship that we have to see the work that I put in during the summer and see the improvements that I've made and everything like that. It just shows you, I think, the ability that I have and also the trust that they have in me and I have in them. So, Mark, is that big of a effect on your game is pick and roll? Uh, pick and roll is one of my favorite things. Uh, I think it's an advantage for me. It's one of the things that I'm really good at, just playing the pick and roll, reading the, the defender, and um, I'm pretty efficient at it, so I think it's one of the things that I'm pretty good at. You weren't in a system with a lot of pick and rolls. Exactly. Being in a system with more pick and rolls, will that be advantageous for you? Uh, I think it will be great. Uh, I think it will be something that uh, can help myself along with the team, and um, I'm looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. You said you talked to Coach Cliff almost every day this summer. What sort of things did he say to you? Um, just about working hard. You know, we crack jokes sometimes. Sometimes not even about basketball. And that's one of the things I love about Coach Cliff is that he cares about me as a person and the team as a person. Um, but we just talk about things I can do to get better, you know, getting in shape, uh, you know, stuff on the court, uh, off the court. Like I said, we just have a lot of conversation about everything. So. You mentioned the other day down to 7% body fat. Do yeah. you feel quicker? Do Man, I feel great right now. Uh, I think a, a lot of people can see I look good, um, but uh, I'm still not done yet. I want to get in the best shape I can possibly get. And and it's a big thanks to the, the training staff they got over there and the work I put in, so I'm just going to keep working. How does your size affect you as a point guard? I mean, being a 6'4 guy, I mean, you kind of do yeah, yeah. big Yeah, I think it helps me. Uh, I think I'm a big guard. Um, being able to see over the defense, being able to switch and guard multiple positions, being able to go down in the post. Uh, I think it's something that uh, we plan to utilize this year and just something that I love uh, being able to do. Mm -hmm. With your platform, how important is it to give back to the community for you? Uh, I think it's probably one of the biggest things for me is uh, giving back to the community because it's more than about basketball for me. I think there's a lot of kids out there that have been in the same shoes that I've been in that didn't have anything and had to work for everything they got. So I just want them to know that, you know, all you have to do is set a goal for yourself, work as hard as you can, and don't let anybody switch that up or change it. And for them to see somebody like me believing in them and being able to, you know, interact with them, I think it, it helps them a lot more than it helps me, and that, that's all it's about. It's not really about me getting any shine for it or anything like that. I really do it because I genuinely care. So. You touched, touched on J.I. earlier. What's the ceiling for him? How good can he be? Man, he can be, I think, as, as good as he wants to be because – He's a guy that works hard. He's a guy that does stuff the right way, and he's a good person. So I think um, as far as basketball, he can go as far as he wants to go. But um, off the court, he's a, a good person. So I think that will carry him way further than anything else. So. Mm -hmm. outside, of, outside of just staying healthy, what, what goals do you have set for yourself this, this year? 
My goals are only just to go out there, have fun, and help this team win. Um, I think if I do that, I think everything else will take care of itself. I don't really have any like personal goals. I just want to go out there and, and, and just appreciate, you know, playing the game of basketball. So. Well, Kel, you talked about during your rehab that you never doubted you'd get back. Yeah. Where did you get that confidence? What made you confident? That's, that's just what I grew up with. You know, I, a lot of people don't know that. Me coming up, I, I talk about it a lot, but I wasn't one of the top players in the nation. I wasn't a kid that played varsity all four years. I had to work for everything I got. And um, it's a big thing that my mom lives by is just never quitting. No matter if it goes your way or not, you never give up. So uh, that's just how I was raised. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.